The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 23 and 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 27th, 1973, in London, England. Translation The soul can never be cut into pieces by any weapon, nor can he be burned by fire, nor moistened by water, nor withered by the wind. So, here is another puzzle for the rational scientists. Because they are contemplating and accepting within this earth, in other planets, there is no life. Because the atmosphere is different, they cannot live there. Now, take for example the uh, sun planet, fiery planet. So, naturally we shall imagine that uh, no living entity can st- live there. It is fiery planet. <coughs> but Krishna says, that nainana dahati pāvaka. The fire does not burn it. This is quite reasonable because the living entities are there, we can experience. Roughly we see that we are on the land and the aquatic species they are in the water. I cannot live within the water, neither the fish cannot live on the land. But from my experience, if we think that there is no living entity in the water, is it not as Kallam? Similarly, these rascals are thinking from his own point of view. Because he cannot live within the fire or within the water. He is thinking there is no life within the fire. This is rascal. To refute this rascal, Krishna says, Nay Namadhati Pavaka. Even within the fire, there are living entities. Therefore, Krishna says, Magavivasati Yugam Pratavana Hamabhayat. I spoke, first of all, this Bhagavad Gita system to the sun god. Now, rascals will think that how there is a god and there is a person in the sun planet. They will think like that. Everything from his own angle of vision. This is modern science. I cannot think of such thing, therefore there cannot be any such thing. Just that, just like everything should be within my experience. This is very. They will never admit that what is your experience. You are imperfect, your senses are imperfect. Uh, how you can be perfectly experienced, it is not possible. Achinta, there are so many inconceivable powers acting on behalf of Krishna. What are you? You may cheat some people that you have become God, that is another thing. Uh, but uh, the inconceivable potency of Krishna, they are working differently. Srila Jiva Goswami says that unless we accept this principle that Krishna, a God, has got inconceivable power, achinta, sakti, we cannot understand. If we put Krishna 
within the jurisdiction of my limited understanding, uh, that is not understanding of Krishna. Manasana sahasreshu kastri jagati siddha. That inconceivable power is also within us. Uh, we do not know so many things are happening. The example as I gave uh, many times, that the one nail was taken off, and still it grew exactly to the size of the nail. To my personal modern the nail. Uh, so the doctor cannot make exactly fitting nail, but it is growing exactly to the size. Even it is un- inconceivable to me uh, how it is going. Uh, even my hair grows in cons I do not know. I cut every week and it still grows. There are so many a little inconceivable power within me. I am part and parcel of God. Just imagine how much inconceivable power is there in Krishna. It is common sense. Uh, we understand from the Shastra, that Krishna uh, as Garbhod of Sai Vishnu, he created water within this universe and, and lied down. Garbhod of Sai Vishnu. Now, uh, we cannot conceive that how a person can produce water from the body like the sea and ocean. But if we think over little soberly, that sometimes we perspire, we get perspiration, that is water. In India you have got a special experience during summer season. Uh, sometimes uh, a small pot can be filled up with the water produced from my body, like this. But, uh, of course, one must be healthy man, then he'll perspire, and water will come out from the body. So I am limited. I am only a small particle of Krishna's uh, body, part and parcel. If I have got this power of producing water, maybe one grain or two grain or one ounce, Krishna has got unlimited power. Why not you see? Where is the difficult to understand? He can produce uh, unlimited quantity of water, which may be known as ocean and sea. Jato Vahimani Bhutani Jayanti, Devam Veda says that from whom all these five elements have come into being. And Krishna says, Dhumi Rapa Anala Vayu Khangapana Buddhiri Vacha. Aankāra iti yangmi, vinnā prakiti asradhā. That is my energy. Uh, everything is Krishna's energy. He can produce. Uh, right. Try to verify uh, from the example, because you are little sample of Krishna. Uh, you can study what you are doing, what you are feeling, what you are acting, the same thing in unlimited quantity, Krishna has got the power. That's all. <coughs> so, here it is said, uh, Arjun might be thinking that uh, Krishna says this body is different from the soul. The soul is within. So now suppose when I uh, place my soul on the body of my grandfather or my kinsman, the body will cut. And in the meantime the soul is within the body, it may be cut because the soul is there. By accidentally he may be cut. Therefore Krishna says very distinctly, Nainam Chindanti Sastrani, that soul cannot be cut. Any weapon, 
It can be cannot be pierced by your arrows. It cannot be cut into pieces by your sword. Or if you use firearms, it will not burn. Dairamadhati power. This is the position of Sam. Immutable, indestructible. Uh, another, this is the negative description of the soul. Nainam chandanti sastrani, chindanti sastrani. Is there anything in this material world which cannot be cut into pieces? Have you got any experience? Take wood, stone, iron, or anything. It can be cut into pieces. Uh, therefore, the when Krishna says Nailam Chindanti Sastrani, that means it is nothing uh, like anything material element. It is different. It is different. Any material element. There are uh, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. Uh, you can prepare weapons from earth. Uh, water you cannot do now, but there can be a weapon from the water also. Uh, that was used in the battle of Kurukshetra. Here the atomic bomb is thrown, Brahmastra, from the other side, the watery ostrich is thrown, so that the atomic, the energy of the atomic bomb is immediately finished. Now, so, what the scientists know now, there, although they have manufactured atomic bomb, but they are unable to manufacture another weapon, counteraction of atomic bomb. That is not possible. But there is. Uh, atomic bomb is fiery, and if you manufacture another bomb, which is watery, then you can counteract. Because fight means I charge you with some kind of weapon, you have to protect yourself by the counteract. That was going on. So, nainam chindanti satsrani, nainam dahati pāva. So it is quite natural to understand that if there is living entity within the earth, within the water, even in the air, with that we experience. Uh, here yeah, there are so many living entities. In the water, invisible, uh, not uh, seen by the naked eyes. Uh, by microscope you can see so many germs are there in the water, in the air. Uh, so why not in the fire? Fire is also one of the material elements. Therefore, the sun planet Although it is fiery planet, there is uh, um, inhabitation of different type of human beings who, who may be called as demigods. But there are similar uh, buildings, similar persons, cities, motor cars, everything. Everything is there. Otherwise, how Krishna could go there and say that Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratamana Hamambayam. Unless it is exactly a planet like this, where living entities, houses, roads, and cars, and everything is there, uh, as Krishna uh, uh, advantaged himself within this planet, he came here. Krishna can go anywhere. Krishna, when he was present, he was going anywhere. Sometimes he is in the water. Sometimes within the walls of the universe, sometimes in the spiritual world, he went to the spiritual world taking Arjuna with him. Arjuna also went to him. And he saw uh, the Karuna and Sai Vishnu in the spiritual world. These things are there described in the Srimad Bhagavad. He could go anywhere. Uh, uh, they were going to the heavenly planets. That is Krishna. Not Guruji. He, that one's life and he is blind. Uh, not like that. Uh, Krishna uh, could go, Krishna can do, all oh, this is called omnipotent, all-powerful. Uh, 
So unless we think of Krishna possessing inconceivable power, we cannot understand Krishna. Nainam chindanti sasrani, nainam dahati pava. Another a study from this verse is that the Mahavadi philosophy, they say that spirit is one, the Supreme Spirit, impersonal. When the spirit is embodied, it becomes individual. This is their philosophy. Otherwise, uh, uh, they give the example, just like there is water on the sea, it is also sustained on the earth in big mass of water. And on that water uh, you can put one boat or sea full of water. And on, on that boat you put another a cup of water. And in the cup of water you put uh, another pot, a small uh, cup or small, small you can see, or in the skin of a grain, there that will also contain. So their philosophy is that the water is one, but according to the pot or container, it becomes small and big. This is their philosophy. And when the container is broken, then the whole water becomes one. This is their philosophy. Now this nonsense philosophy is refuted in this verse. How? Now because the spirit, either you take whole spirit or part spirit, nainam chindan pisatrani, you cannot divide it by cutting into pieces. That is not possible. So their philosophy is that the water has been put into different pots, therefore we see this small water, this smaller or bigger distribution. But they are all individual, always. It is not that it has been divided. Mami Vamsu Jiva Bhuta Jiva Loka Sanatana. Sanatana. Sanatana means eternally they are divided. It is not that it has been divided by some means, uh, uh, just like we keep water in big pot or small pot. That is not possible. They are big or small eternal. Vishnu tattva, jiva tattva. Uh, the jiva tattva, they are small fragments. Uh, they are eternal. Uh, Vishnu tattva. Vishnu tattva means the Supreme Personality of God. Vishnu Tattva is unlimitedly uh, great, eternal, sanātā. Uh, and the Jiva Tattva, they are uh, infinitesimally smaller, eternal, not that it has been cut into small and big, no. So this Mahavadi theory cannot stand here if we accept the Bhagavad-gītā statement, nainam chinnanti sastra, it is not divided by some means, no. It is already divided. It is already divided. Neither the small piece of soul or the big piece of soul, you can divide. nainam chinnanti sastra, nainam dahati pāvaka, nacainam kledayanti āpa, nasusahiti mārutā. Yeah, uh, there are earth, water, fire, air. Yeah. So none of these material things can uh, act on the soul. It is not that uh, because air dries up everything, anything. Big, big ocean is dried up by evaporation. Big, big river, big, big lakes are evaporated. But the soul cannot be evaporated. This is the distinction. The air can evaporate a big ocean. Gradually it is being done. As the days will go on, the sea water will be evaporated. 
And at the end there will be no water. These are, there are, these are the statements. Towards destruction, there will be no water. Just like now it is already begun. There is scarcity of water, no rainfall. So we see that the lakes and rivers and other water reservoirs, they are becoming dried up. Sometimes they are telling that river, what is that lake? Drying up. So there must be dry up and there must be supply. Nature's way, that is the way. But in the, and with the advancement of Kali Yuga, there will be scarcity of supply, but the water will dry up. The result will be there will be no water. And there will be no water, everything, all living entities, vegetation, living beings, everything will finish, will die. For hundreds of years there will be no water. And then uh, when everything is finished, dried up, burned into ashes, due to the, the sunshine, the glare of the sunshine will be twelve times increased. And there will be no water. How one can live? So everything on this planet will be finished. And then, being warmer, warmer, there will be fire. Uh, and the fire, all planets of the universe will be burnt into ashes. Then there will be rainfall. Uh, another, for hundred years. So the whole universe will be filled up with water. Then it will be evaporated and the whole universe cosmic manifestation and finish. This is called annihilation. <coughs> so, uh, and Bhagavad Gita, there is a statement that when everything is annihilated, the spiritual world is not annihilated. So as the spiritual world does not annihilate, similarly the soul is spirit, uh, by any such disturbances, the soul is never annihilated, abhorred, indestructible, immutable. So Krishna is explaining in different ways the nature of the soul. Uh, we have to take it seriously, then we get perfect knowledge. So, next verse you can. This individual soul is unbreakable and insoluble and can be neither burned nor dried. He is everlasting, all-pervading, unchangeable, immovable, and eternally the same. So, this is another way, negative way. In the previous verse, Krishna says, nainam chundanti satrani. Now, negatively, or passively, it is said, that achindaya. And every way Krishna is suggesting the immortality of the soul, uh, there are five elements, earth, water, fire, air. So none of these elements can uh, act on the soul. You can prepare soul, uh, cutting soul from earth. Uh, from metal, but it does not mean that you can uh, cut anything material with your soul, but you cannot cut the spirit soul with your sword or with your other material weapons. Neither achidvayam padajya, neither you can burn with fire, Neither you can moisten it with water, neither you can dry. In every respect, Krishna explains how soul is immutable. Another significance is nitya sarvagataha. Sarvagata means uh, all pervading everywhere the soul is there. Uh, even within the stone, even within the uh, sand, 
So how these people can say there is no existence of living entity in the moon planet? Sarvabhak. Uh, we have seen sometimes uh, that from the stone, uh, I have marked it, uh, there is one Juma Masjid in Agra. On the top of the stone dome, a plant has come out on the top. Now, who has gone to place that seed, that a banyan uh, tree, banyan plant has come out, and it has cracked the stone. Uh, so nobody has gone there. Uh, but uh, this means the soul is everywhere. As soon as it gets the opportunity, it accepts a material body. As soon as there is opportunity. Uh, it's like you get visa for going to a foreign country as soon as the visa period is over, uh, the visa department immediately reminds you, sir, your visa is finished, now you must go, uh, you must go out. So the whole, the punna lok, the uh, higher planetary system, the sarga lok, you can go there by your pious activity, by performing big, big yoga, uh, punna, pious activity, uh, go there. But kine punne puna vakta loka visanti. When you are punna, it is also a limited thing. When it is finished, you have to come back. It is said that when they come back on this planet, they come through the water, showers, and they fall down on this earth. Again they begin their life as grass and something like that. Evil. Therefore, uh, this uh, elevation to the higher planetary system, Krishna condemns them. Abrahma bhuvana lokan punarabhati no arjuna. Matter of John. Even if you go to the higher planetary system, the Brahma loka, to live for many millions of years, still when you are uh, accept a pious activity will be finished, he will have to come back here. So, uh, but he again says, Madhama Bhatya Apunat Janmana Vidyate, that if you uh, try to come back to my place, then he will not come back. So, uh, the Kurmis, Karmakandya, uh, they are trying to be elevated to the heavenly planet, higher planetary system. Uh, that is not a very good idea. Uh, you can go to the higher planetary system by your past activities. First of all, the modern age, the people are so much impious, sinful, that is not also possible. They may go down. Jagannā guna vittishtra bhogachanti tāmasa. Their covered is ignorance. Uh, the ignorance is why no man and meet it. So they are going down. There is no possibility of going uh, higher priority system. Not possible. Uh, who will go to the higher priority system? Urdhanga chanti sattva sva, urdhanga sattva. Only those who are pious, they can be elevated. So even if you are pious, still you have to come back again. This is the process. So sarvagata. Sarvagata means a soul is free to go anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Full freedom. As he wants. Yeah. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, uh, the janti deva brata devan pitrin janti pitri brataha. Bhūtenjā-jānti-bhūtāni, vat-jājī-nopī-jānti-mā. As you like. It is up to you. Make your selection. Where you want to be. You have come or other. You have come here. That's all right. But Krishna gives you chance to, uh, to be elevated to any planetary system you like. Ultimately, if you want to go back to home, back to Godhead, 
That is all today. But they are in a vision. So if you want to go to the moon planet, there is no need of this Sputnik. There is a process. Uh, so that after this body you become elevated to the moon planet. Uh, why should you make a research for uh, uh, and become futile research going to the moon? You just prepare yourself. There are different processes. If you want to go to the moon planet, you can go. If you want to go to the heavenly planet, you can go. Uh, similarly, if you want to go to the planet where Krishna is, you can go. The sane man, intelligent man, should consider that uh, if I have to prepare myself for going, for being elevated to the higher planetary system, but we have to come back again, kine punne puno vartala, why not endeavor for going back to Krishna? Uh, that is intelligence. Thank you very much.